Welcome, we are here at Knott's Scary Farm for their 50th anniversary. I'm Brian. I'm Spencer. And we are through the turnstile where we're taking you all across all the theme parks to let you know if it's worth going through the turnstile. So with it being the Knott's 50th anniversary, one of the big things that they wanted to do with a lot of the food, have the guests get their scare on. So it's a lot of different kind of exotic meats. Uh, what kind of meats are we gonna be tasting today? Today we're gonna to be trying rabbit, alligator, turtle. Well, we're gonna try it so you don't have to, but maybe you do. I don't know, yeah. we'll see. We're gonna do some mazes, we're gonna go through scare zones. There's clowns over there, and they're gonna to try to kill us. Scare, scare us, scare us. All right, let's run it. How you doing? Fine, nice. Good. I know. I, what's going on around here? Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. It's a neighborhood. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. You're a Boy Scout? I'm not. Oh, I thought so. You got the show pants on. Yeah. You, know, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna do me a favor? Yeah. I want you to go down the street before you get to the tracks. There's gonna be a car park right there. I want you to talk to Charlie. Charlie? Yeah. Tell him I sent you. Benny. Yeah. Benny. Benny. All right. Thank you. All right. We're gonna find Charlie. That was his name, right, Ryan? We gotta find this parked car. Bitch. Well, we gotta talk to Charlie. So. Uh, Unfortunately, we got to get in line to do so, so it won't be happening. But I think I think that's Charlie. Where at? Oh, rest in peace, Charlie. I guess. Ah, while we're here, we'll go to the prop shop pizzeria and try gross food. All right, here it is, our inaugural food review. We're gonna start off with two things. We have turtle pizza. So they have crush from Finding Nemo on top of pizza, which is depressing. On top of the turtle pizza, it has turtle meat, Philly meat, nacho cheese, mozzarella, and peppers. We also have the spook getty pie. Has spaghetti baked in Alfredo sauce and topped with mozzarella, sausage, and bacon bits served over a house made bolognese sauce. I'm a very picky eater. I don't do this stuff at all. And I'm just gonna go in first bite and then um, let you know how it is. So here we go. <sighs> Lord have mercy. I was expecting way worse. Truthfully, I read turtle meat and I was like, this is gonna be disgusting. It's actually not bad. I didn't expect the nacho cheese to be like the pizza sauce substitute. One through 10 score, honestly, I would give it like a 6.5 or a seven, but it's not bad. All right, well now I'm gonna try the spaghetti pie. This looks very good. We're just gonna go head first into this. I'm gonna try to get like a better bite with some more of that and then the sausage. Okay, here we go. That's great. That is like super good. There's a good balance of like cheesiness and like savoriness with like the bolognese sauce and then the sausage is very flavorful. The bolognese sauce is like super like, it hits you and so does the cheese. I'm not getting a lot of the mozzarella but I am getting a lot of like the uh, uh, Alfredo sauce in there. Um, but everything else in here is just great. This is really good. This is something that I see myself coming back here to eat. I'm feeling like an 8.5 on this. This is fire. Which one is worth going through the turnstile on? I'm gonna go with the spaghetti pie because it is like the safe thing. It is super flavorful and tasty. This is also good. It's not bad. I think like the name of it psychs you out more than like when you're actually eating it. I will say that it's worth trying if you want to be up to that task. Now it's my turn to try this pizza. Um, we're actually, there's only one way to review pizza. Let's go. All right. We are here at Props Pizza, pizzeria shop on a, I don't know what the avenues are. I don't see, you know what? That doesn't matter. But we're here trying the Mutant Turtle Philly Steak Pizza. It's got a nacho cheese, turtle meat, Philly meat, peppers, 
What more could you ask for? Uh, one bite, everybody knows the rule. Spencer already took a bite. So another bite, everyone knows the rules. Uh, we're gonna try and get a bite with some turtle on it. It's got a lot of flop. Undercarriage is pretty nice, but look at that flop. It needs to be, it needs to be crispy, crispy. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Spencer. I feel like, I feel like I'm eating a little bit of Leonardo. Eating a little bit of uh, Donatello. A little bit of Raphael. A little bit of Michelangelo. And it's not bad. I, I love the I love the turtles. We, we we go back, but they're delicious. There there's not a lot of turtle meat. The turtle meat's mixed in with the Philly meat very well. It's a uh, it's pretty good. I give it a six eight. It's not bad. Flavors are really well. The nacho cheese sauce kind of. Makes it feel like you're eating a Philly steak with, with turtles. Yeah, I think I think it's worth going through the turnstile. So it's, it's a little adventurous, a little, a little out there, but uh, cowabunga, turtles on a half shell, turtle power. All right, well we just finished eating some of that. Uh, food that was actually surprisingly good. We'll see what happens. We're gonna venture around the park though, um, and then. Yeah. Yo, Spencer. This is Cheyenne. Yo, what's up? What are you guys doing? Eating exotic foods in the adventuring scary farm. Dope. She is our special guest for the day. We're gonna venture through the scare zones and hopefully not get too scared. <laughs> No habla inglés. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, ¿Dónde está la leche? ¿Dónde está la leche? Oh. Uh, uh, Cheyenne, help. <laughs> Translate for me. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. What's up, dude? Oh. <laughs> I'm stuck with him. <laughs> no, that was so funny. First alcoholic drinks of the night. Um, which bag did you get? I got the A positive blood. It has vodka, pineapple juice, cranberry, and grenadine. It's like a tropical looking blood bag drink. I have the zombie juice. And this one, vodka, lemonade, pineapple juice, a concoction of Granny Smith apple syrup. Well, that sounds so. good. They're both vodka, so. Yeah, so you can't, you can't go wrong with that. And they're in these awesome little like drip IV bags, so those will keep us going through the night. Yeah. Hopefully, if not, we'll have to get another or two or get another pack. three. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, let's give them a try. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, you can definitely taste the vodka, but like in a good way. It's not overpowering. It's it's like when you pay for a drink and you can actually taste the alcohol, you know it's gonna be good. It's very tropical. I wouldn't expect. Um, a positive blood to taste like this. Um, definitely taste the pineapple juice. Not really getting too much grenadine. Honestly, it's a really good drink though. I would get this again. And what would you rate it on a scale of one to 10? I give it a seven out of 10 just because I feel like it's a safe option for people. Um, it's really sweet, tastes like juice, but you can still get that alcohol. So if you're looking to you know, just spend money on like one drink and it do the trick, this is the one for you. And this one's also very, very alcohol forward. Other theme parks are not heavy handed with their not drinks at all. <laughs> yeah, like this, you can definitely taste the alcohol, which is great. Um, these were $18 yeah. uh, each, which is like typical theme park alcoholic drinks. This one's very, very good. You get a nice blend of the pineapple and the granny uh, Smith apple concentrate, whatever's in it. Um, 
very, very smooth. I would rate this one probably like a 7.4. Uh, it's not like knock your socks off good, but for what you're getting, and plus the it comes the theme cool of bag. it is really cool. Yeah. Like it's a little blood you're bag. Paying for the bag, it's got enough alcohol. It's sweet juice. Overall, it's an enjoyable drink and a fun bag. So I would get it again. Would you go through the turnstile just for these? Solely for the theming and being at Scary Farm, I would say yes. Well, we're gonna go enjoy a maze and sip on our alcohol and then go try some more food. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. I need to do a quick after maze review on that. That was crazy. It was almost like an homage to like all serial killers. Psycho scene was done very well. Yeah. Like I mean, there's like a- That's my favorite horror film of all time, so I would love. And he got yeah. me too, he actually scared me. He yeah. Me I think the best, oh, I, I really liked the house party scene at the beginning with the guy on the stairs. The last two scenes were actually scary too. Yeah. Like genuinely like, oh, I don't like this, it was scary. It was phenomenal. Yeah. We are here at Boardwalk Barbecue to try a couple more exotic meat. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm ecstatic for this one. Here we've got the batch crazy pasta. This one has bow tie pasta with rabbit tenderloin, roasted broccoli, goat cheese, and a raspberry vinaigrette. And then over here we've got Swamp Gator Sausage. Uh, have you ever had alligator before? Absolutely not. Have you had rab before? Nope. Hopefully it's prepared just like how Smeagol likes it. How does Smeagol like his rabbit? You'll make him sick, you will. He likes his rabbit raw. We're gonna start with the rabbit first. Dude, I'm more scared of this than I am of this stupid event. <laughs> like this is like, I'm like legit more anxious about this than I was in Ghost Town like when we first got in, dude. The rabbit looks kind of like chicken. Um, I've heard that it has kind of a chicken-y consistency. It doesn't smell great. That's the, that's number, that's the first thing. Uh, I barely can get my fork through it, which is another thing. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Not bad. It is. Very, very dry. <laughs> Spencer's not having it. What does it taste like? Gross. The rabbit is extremely dry. So it's taking like 7,000 years to chew, which is a great thing for your food to have. Yeah, that's it. That's that. I think the, uh, <laughs> I'm capping off at that one. I think the Israelites were wandering the desert a shorter time than it took for us to chew this rabbit. Like the, the pasta isn't bad. It's... It's not good. I wouldn't get it ever. I would, uh, I wouldn't even recommend you try it. That's an easy, I mean, l listen, I'll give it to the pasta. It's not even decent, but it's like, it, you can eat it, it's edible. I, I thought it was, because I, I feel like typically a stew is like warm. Well, it's not a stew. That, that, that's the camel stew. Oh, camp, sorry, this wrong just, food. This is almost like a pasta salad with rabbit. Yeah, that's what it is, and it's nasty. I mean, like, kudos to Knott's for, like, trying things with the rabbit, but... Because how, how much did it cost? It's $17.50. They get this for free in prison. So, uh, don't get this. I'm sorry, respectfully. I'm gonna be generous and say one out of 10. Maybe a 1.5 because the pasta was a little bit edible. Like the pasta by itself has an interesting flavor, I feel like that isn't awful. I don't really get the raspberry vinaigrette very much. Like it's it's like you ate, you're eating like a chicken pasta that wasn't seasoned at all that was sitting out on your counter with no wrapper over it for like 17 and a half hours. I would give us a little higher, like a 2.6, just uh, for the fact that it's interesting and you can't really get a dish like this anywhere else, but just the rabbit, it's, it's not good. 
if it if it had like a sauce or like some or if the raspberry vinaigrette was like more prominent, yeah. it would be really good. Not just, just give us like a little side of like something. I don't know. Now we're gonna try the swamp gator sausage. I think, yeah. we're gonna, I think we're gonna like this a little bit more than the rabbit. It's I got, hope so. The roasted peppers seem pretty good. It's got a nice pesto sauce on it. It does look a lot better than, like it has a better presentation than the rabbit stew had. With the gator sausage, you do get the option of some sides. You can get mac and cheese, you can get some roasted vegetables, or you can get some potato spuds. Uh, we decided to go with the mac and cheese because it's mac and cheese. This is $16 and it's already more worth it than the rabbit stew because it looks a lot more edible. And on top of that, you get a side too, which is great. Hold on, let me get a good grip on this on this gator. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Pesto adds a spiciness to it. That's really good. We did have to wait like 15 extra minutes for the rabbit. So our sausage is a it's a little colder than it probably should be. The alligator has a really nice snap to the sausage. The flavors. There's a, there's a little bit of kick to it, but it's not overwhelmingly spicy. So it's a nice well balance between the pesto, the roasted peppers, and the small kick from the gator. So this is 10,000 times better than uh, the rabbit stew was. Pasta. So I keep calling it rabbit stew. It's not rabbit stew, it's pasta. It doesn't taste weird. Like it tastes good. If you wouldn't know that this was alligator, like you'd have no idea that you're eating alligator. You're just like, oh, like this is a nice like, pork sausage. I would definitely give this like a solid 7.8. I think the bun to sausage ratio kind of threw it off a little bit, but definitely worth trying. I'm feeling like a 6.2 on this, but I agree like the, the, the bun itself is too large for what this is wants to be. We are trying the cereal killer funnel cake now. So this has some strawberry toppings, a sort of cereal like I see some Lucky Charms, Fruit Loops, some Captain Crunch on there, powdered sugar, red condensed uh, milk, edible sugar knife, and vanilla ice cream. This is like my most hyped dessert. Let's just but let's just break into let's just, it. Yeah, let's just get into let's it. Let's cut into it. <laughs> I have a piece, a little bit of everything in there. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, I'm a huge fan of cereal. Like, I will eat cereal every single day of my life. Favorite snack. So this on a funnel cake, it's really sweet, but it is so good. And then like the crunch of the cereal and sweetness of it, it really pairs well together. You can taste like the Fruit Loops and everything with it. The strawberry kind of has like that acidity that cuts through the sweetness. It's really good. Oh my gosh. For me, this is like, honestly, this is, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. This is awesome. Whoa. This is phenomenal. I, I feel like my main fear going into this, especially with like funnel cake flavors, is I feel like the funnel cake can sometimes like overpower the flavor of everything and it doesn't actually taste like what it's trying to be. I, buy, I bit into this with like a bite of everything and it legit, like it tastes like a cereal milk funnel cake. So it was 1850 and then with season pass, took a dollar off of it, 17.50. Everything complements each other very well. And like, you can share this with everybody too. Like, you know, I mean, there's enough for like four people here, even more than that. So I think this is worth it. I would go through the turnstile for this. I'm gonna agree with Cheyenne here. I'll be valid and I'll just give it a 10. This yeah. is definitely worth going through the turnstile for. We finished knots. We conquered it. What time is it right now? It's about to be 1.30. Immediately, I would say it's worth going through the turnstile on. If you're in if you're in SoCal, I think that this event is worth it. Updated review on the Gator Sausage. So from a 6.2, I'm gonna raise it up to like an eight. Whoa, voice crack. Eight. <laughs> you uh, liked it that much. Yeah, I liked it that much. It made my voice crack. Uh, I'm gonna raise that up to like an eight. There's a lot of drinks, there's a lot of food that was themed throughout the entire night. So Nas did a really well job with their 50th anniversary with doing that. PETA, don't watch this. This, this isn't for you, just <laughs> skip it. Um, you can watch the funnel cake part. So just go to the time code down below, just watch the funnel cake, don't watch anything else. But we're gonna make it part two because there's a lot of exotic meat that we didn't get to try. Um, yeah. We did buy season passes, so we will be back here as many times as we can. So if there's anything that we miss and if there's anything that you want to see us try, just leave a comment down below. And also follow us on Instagram, TikTok, through the turnstile, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.